today we shall see the planarity in graph theory it's a very beautiful concept and we call a graph planar graph if it can be drawn in the plane so that no two of its edges cross each other so graph g is called a plane graph if it is drawn in the plane so that no two edges of g cross let's just see what's the difference between this planar graph and plane graph with some examples okay here you have got the first graph which is actually planar graph but it is not drawn as planar graph okay it is not drawn as plane graph but it can be drawn so first graph we can mean we can tell all the graphs all these graphs are planar graphs and then first one is planar graph but second one you can name as plane graph and third also you can name as plane graph because it is drawn as plane graph so that no two of its edges cross but first graph you can say it is it can be drawn okay so all the three graphs are a single graph that is a complete graph on four vertices so this is also an important uh, example to just note an example of a plane graph okay so just see though there are many edges you can very well say uh, none of the edges cross each other so euler also found a upper bound for number of edges that is m is less than or equal to 3 and minus 6 where m is the uh, size of the graph and n is the order of the graph so here uh, we we deal with k3 comma 3 that is complete graph complete bipartite graph k3 comma 3 so three houses and three euclides problem so there are three euclides that is gas water and electricity so that need to be connected to three houses by gas lines water mains and electrical lines we know very well gas water and electricity they are not they need not be adjacent to itself similarly the three houses need not be linked to each other so we just consider this as a parted set three houses and another parted set is gas water and electricity okay so there is a question can this be done without any of the lines or mains crossing each other see here a house on house should have all the three facilities and second house too and third house too so this is equivalent to ask whether the graph k3 comma 3 is planar so just see the graph k3 comma 3 so we know it's a complete bipartite graph it is drawn we need to check whether it is a planar graph for that we should check whether we can make it as plane graph show it as plane graph that means if can it be drawn with a crossing of any edges now see we have six vertices here from one parted set whatever we are getting the vertices let us label as 1 2 3 from another parted set let us label it as a b c and then we are checking if we are able to draw this as plane graph see we have all together nine edges in k3 comma 3 but here we are getting only eight edges so here it means that one edge is not drawn because when it is drawn it crosses the other edge therefore we can state k3 comma 3 is not a planar graph that means it is non planar for that we have put theorems depicting the same thing and here too we are trying to draw how and here too k4 we saw as planar graph and what about k5 k5 if we try to draw uh, except one edge all the edges are accommodated see only one, only one place it is uh, crossing 
so k three comma three minus one h. Similarly, k five minus one h. These two are planar graphs, but k five and k three comma three are non-planar. So in the map, like planarity is so much dealt with the map. Okay, so in the map, the regions are denoted as vertices, and whenever two regions share share the border, then they are made adjacent. So like that, we draw and we talk about five color theorem, four color theorem. Okay, related to mapping, and an important result is here as the Euler identity. So Euler found that if you have a if g is a connected plane graph of order n size m and having r regions then n minus m plus r is equal to 2 see if it is plane graph this will satisfy n minus m plus r is equal to 2 but if it satisfies it need not be a plane graph we prove this by minimum founder example okay so first of all we are just saying if g is a tree of order n then number of edges okay number of edges is n minus 1 we know this and our region is only 1 because cycles are not there in a tree yes a tree is a connected a cyclic graph so n minus m plus r is equal to 2 is satisfied here so we are dealing with again connected graphs that are not trees. Now we are saying, see, uh, we are just going to say this satisfies n minus m plus r is equal to 2. But suppose it doesn't satisfy. Then there exists a connected plane graph, g of smallest size, for which the Euler identity does not hold. Okay? That means n minus m plus r not equal to 2. Especially here we had to... Uh, understand the smaller size system okay so since g is not a tree then we can say g will have a edge that is not a bridge so if we remove that edge that is not a bridge then two regions will become one region and then size of the graph will be reducing to a minus one therefore we know g minus c for that Euler identity hold because we have chosen the graph that is of smaller size. So when we just substitute this, we are getting n minus m plus r is equal to, which is a contradiction because we have assumed this is not true. Thank you.